Greetings. Today we're going to begin with iSpring, iSpring Solution software. Our focus today will be on the iSpring Presenter 7. Now iSpring has um, the iSpring 7, the iSpring Pro, the iSpring Suite 7. But again, today we will focus on iSpring 7 software and we this module will be on the basics, just the essentials of using presenters. Especially when we have multiple multiple presenters, we want them to be acknowledged within the transition. Say for instance, uh, someone was doing a narration. Of course, we would want to put a face or a video with that particular narration. So let's begin. So we're in iSpring 7. We need to go to presenters. I already have the presenters within our course, Adrian Brown, David Lord, Denise Tolliver, and myself. Katrina Curry. Now I have some other presenters within my file um, because in, in school we've uh, had different presenters for different things or different uh, work situations. So let's go ahead and look at our presenters and for instance I don't have a picture for David. Well I want to edit. So I will browse, find a picture that I think is appropriate for him. So let's use the crown, cross and crown JPEG. Click on that. And this is the picture that we will use for David. Now say for instance I wanted to use a logo. Well I already have this picture. So let me browse and show you how I got to much similar like the selection for David and I'm also going to use the same photo. I'm going to click on the picture and there we have our logo. Now look at this very carefully. If I click OK I'm going to show you how I will lose my presenters. I'm going to go to Presenter Explorer and I don't have my presenters because I did not click OK. So let's close this. Let's go back to Presenters. The presenter information in the presentation is out of date. Do you want to update the information? Yes, you do because this will grab those presenters back and put them back in place. So here we have the presenters again. We're going to click OK. So what if I wanted to add a presenter? So let's go back to adding a presenter. I will choose um, Add. I believe I'm going to choose one of my sons, Isaiah Curry. He's a lacrosse player, so let's put lacrosse player for his title. And of course, we could use email, have his um, website. He actually has a website, phone number. You know, just put something there and in info. So let's browse his photo. And there is my lacrosse player, Isaiah. Now, I'm going to go to my Presenter Explorer. And we don't have him here yet. So let's click on Isaiah. And there we have him. Now, there's something very important I need to share with you. Uh, the beginning slide is the master slide. So it's already promoted. And then quite naturally the other ones begin to demote by branching.
Now we could promote like the one with Isaiah and he would be like a beginning new module. But for this tutorial, we want to go ahead and demote him and just make it flow in the process where um, the first slide is the master slide. Another thing that's very important for the flow, we want to have the on click option versus the auto. If you chose the auto, um, you would range um, and time your narration as well as you would need to know how many seconds the clock, the slide would need to um, stay before transition or rotation. So those are some options and here is more branching options and you can lock. So there's a very um, good way of having a gauge on some information. Now this is um, the layout is very important. I like to normally um, have a uniform layout and like my references and my conclusions I usually use the um, no sidebar because the references usually um, have a uh, the references and there's no need for any sidebar but with the presentations I normally like the presenter to be on um, the side as the sidebar why you get the information with the flow of the project so for this particular module I'm going to show the various um, layouts versus being uniform like I would normally do and conclude my conclusions or resources so our group wants want you to get the full effect of having different transitions so I'm going to leave Adrian's full um, David's I'll have the no sidebar uh, Denise I'll have um, the full well I'm sorry the maximum video look and for myself um, the full and for Isaiah the no change okay so we're going to save now we're going to publish now it's very important in this publishing that we get this very correct we have options of web CD iSpring online which is a LMS system that is specific to uh, iSpring uh, similar to um, your Lectora, uh, your Articulate, um, that they have subscriptions for your LMS. Um, this is if you have your own LMS um, option. And so let's just do this uh, CD selection. Of course, you can have the desktop flash, the mobile HTML, the combined flash HTML executable files. Then there's playback nav navigation. But today again we're focusing on the presenter now this is very important this is where we get to view our presenters we want to customize so I, I click customize and now I also want to go to my company logo Okay. See, you don't see any presenters yet. After we already click presenters, but you still don't see them. You won't see it under branding, branded course, but you will see it under corporate trainer. That's the look that I want. So now that I have that look, I'm going to apply and close. Now I need to publish. I had already 
save this before um, but let's um, keep the name so yes I want to override it but of course if you were saving it under a different name you would save under a different name and so it's rendering and generating the Swift files so it can be a flash presentation and there we have it so say for instance Adrian was presenting you will hear Adrian speaking and you will hear her information as she presented her portion of the module and this is I chose the full one for David the full size um, option and also for Denise and then I chose um, I'm sorry the full size for myself and and Adrian um, but I chose the no si sidebar here we go that's Denise that's David okay and Isaiah full size and so there you have it you have the different looks and you see the different presenters on the side on some of the slides because remember I changed some of the ones up but that's how it would look so I thank you for allowing us to show you how to demonstrate or utilize multiple presenters so you can put a face to the presentation or to the person that's narrating.